the true church of Christ, Peter, the rock. Every devout Christian belongs to the church which I myself founded on earth, but I emphasize, every devout Christian. For many people only call themselves Christians because they belong to a Christian denomination, to a denomination which certainly preaches of Christ. But this does not prove that the people also have a living faith in him. And I demand this faith in me because my church is built upon a profound, living faith. People do not, in fact, openly reject the teachings which have been passed on in tradition. They dare not disagree, but they have no profound unquestionable faith in my act of salvation, in my actions as a human being on this earth. Therefore, I cannot acknowledge them as living Christians who belong to my church either, rather they are mere nominal members, formal Christians. They are people who have never spent serious thought on the problem of God's human manifestation in Jesus, nor do they know about the mission of Jesus the human being, instead they merely consider the events surrounding Jesus the man as a myth, possibly believing in him as an idealist who wanted the best for his fellow human beings. But even this cannot be rated by me as faith in Jesus Christ and his act of salvation. However, anyone with a living faith also knows why I demand such faith, so that I can bestow eternal bliss upon him. This is because an irrevocable part of it is love, only this gives birth to a living faith, and you humans must have this love in order to clearly understand the significance of my act of salvation for humanity and the reason for my life on earth. And only those who have arrived at such awareness can talk about a maturing of their souls, which is the purpose and aim of earthly life as a human being. Because my spirit, which I promised to everyone who belongs to my church, to everyone who believes in me, is working in them. Enlightenment by the spirit is the sign of belonging to my church which I myself founded on earth and if you humans call yourselves Christians while your spirit is not yet enlightened the name Christ cannot mean anything to you at all. You are outside of my church even if you belong to an organization which speaks of me, because you do not heed the only important sermon, that you should fulfill the commandments of love which are undeniably taught by every church but which are not made the focal point and therefore it mainly produces dead Christians. However, anyone living with love can belong to any ecclesiastical organization. He will be a member of my church, because it is built on the living faith which sprung to life through love. You can only become blessed through love. Thus, you will have to comply with my divine teaching of love and thereby prove to me that you want to belong to my church. And since the divine teaching of love is being preached in every Christian organization you have to exemplify this teaching first and foremost, you should not give precedence to other additional commandments by people, for these do not benefit the soul's maturity but only stop you from fulfilling my will who gave you the commandments of love for God and other people. Thus, living Christians, who will subsequently be regarded as members of the church founded by me, will be able to emerge from every church. But not one of these churches can claim to be the only beatifying one, because only love results in blissfulness and this love can and will be practiced by followers of all denominations who will then also be regarded as true Christians, who are aspirants for my kingdom which is not of this world. Consequently, it is irrelevant which school of thought you join in earthly life if only your life of love leads you to a living faith in me and my act of salvation. Then I will admit you into my church, then you will also exemplify my word which I taught on earth, you can follow me by living with love, as I have done. In this way you will become true followers of my teaching, because I came to earth to ignite the love which you humans had stifled due to my adversary's influence. I taught love and exemplified it. 
and anyone living with love like me follows me, he joins me. He belongs to the church I founded because he has the same faith as Peter, the rock on which I built my church. Do understand these words correctly and do not apply their wrong interpretation, because Peter's followers are only those who, by means of a life of love, have acquired the very same solid faith within themselves and who thus have the right to call themselves followers of my church. Amen.